Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm happy to report that uh, in giving feedback to Microsoft, I have uh, been re-upped for my Microsoft MVP status uh, for Windows, Microsoft Windows, specifically in the consumer marketplace. Cannot wait to get my hands on a few Windows 8 tablet computers. Uh, I uh, have said that before, although I do have concerns with bifurcating the user experience, I'm still looking forward uh, to Windows 8, at least as far as living inside of the Metro experience is concerned. Not so much for the classic desktop, but that's just me. I'm moving the ball forward, or at least trying to, and hopefully I'm not the only one looking forward to Windows 8 in that sense, even though it's still a little rough around the edges. Hopefully, by the time it ships, we'll be in good shape. You may uh, want to stick with Windows XP or Windows 7 or both. Did you know that you can kind of have both? If you have Windows 7, I don't know if you realize this, you can install something called XP mode. So even if you didn't want to upgrade to Windows 8, uh, you are on Windows 7 or maybe you're on XP and wanting to upgrade to 7, but you want to have compatibility with all your XP applications or apps that would only work well with Windows XP. Uh, you may consider installing XP to have XP mode from within Windows 7. We've got the full instructions available uh, on the article that we've linked in this video's description. It is pretty simple. Uh, as long as your uh, computer meets the hardware, pardon me, and software requirements, uh, all you have to do is just go to the Windows Virtual PC website, uh, download the uh, Windows XP mode uh, software, install it in Windows 7, so long as you've got the right version of Windows 7, because, uh, yeah, there are different versions of Windows 7. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, the uh, the article, of course, has got a link to where you can verify, hey, am I running the right, XP, or the right version of Windows 7 to install XP mode? Uh, if you're applications are running just fine in 7. And there's a question, of, should you upgrade to 8? Well, you, you may wait. Uh, don't do it immediately. Uh, but if you're on Windows 7 now and you miss some of those applications that used to work in XP but no longer in 7, XP mode may be the thing that you want to look into. It's something that has certainly been valuable for those who haven't quite made the leap to 7 because you were afraid your XP apps wouldn't. And see, I'm calling them. I'm not the only one calling them apps, by the way. Programs, utilities, tools. Apps is almost like the universal uh, word for applications, programs, binaries. I think we've all kind of rallied around that as an idea of this, this little utility. It's an app. So uh, XP mode on Windows 7. Uh, are you guys using it now? If not, you may consider it, especially if you've got some apps that are, I'm sorry, should I call them apps? Programs that you could no longer run because uh, they won't work in 7 without running inside of an XP mode. It's easy to do and it's free.